could be a special day this one for Newcastle United. We'll see. They've got the game underway. Newcastle United's lineup. Rob Elliott plays in goal. Vernon Anita plays with Paul Dummett as the wide defenders. Dwight Gale is the sole striker today. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Wayne Hennessy plays in goal. Martin Kelly starts with Damien Delaney as the centre-backs. Andros Townsend plays with Wilfred Zaha looking to provide width. Christian Benteke is the sole striker today. Murphy. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Patrick van Arnholt. Townsend. Andros Townsend. He's coming forward with some danger. Townsend. The shot's on! Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. It's Yedlin. Such a confident team, this, with so much attack from the back. You get a man coming out with the ball, giving them an extra man. Quite often, that's really important. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. Johan Kabay. Attacking well here. In quickly. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football. But when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Crosses in. Murphy. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Remy. It's a big test this for Newcastle, but one that they feel that they can pass with flying colours. Well, we can catch up with the details of that injury from uh, our man Jeff Shrews. Jeff. He's not moving like he normally does, is he? And that's because he went over on his ankle. But he is carrying on, so... This is how they love to play on the break. Shoots! First goal is always a crucial goal, and they've just got it. It was almost as if they drew them onto them so that there was space to break into. And how well they used that space. And that score, he's just got too much pace for those defenders, you can see it. He's got it back again from his teammate. Kabai. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Andros Townsend. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Townsend. Trying to find Remy. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Matt Ritchie. It's Yedlin. throw here they've got the ball rolling again straight away and that's a turnover to the opposition John Joe Shelby and Newcastle on the attack Shelby great save by a diving goalkeeper and that will be a corner for Newcastle Jack Colback, tackle here, Matt Ritchie, and they're passing so well out there, giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. To get the equaliser, that had equaliser written all over it. Well, when you see him this season, he's finished harder chances than that, I don't think he can believe it. Kabai. Amazing for Crystal Palace, 26 years on, to get to an FA Cup final as they did in 1990 against Manchester United as it was in 1990, with Alan Pardew played in 1990 as the manager in 2016.
Well, disappointing for the Palace players on the day at Wembley. Couldn't quite manage to overcome Manchester United, but uh, they gave it a good go, and at the end of the day, they got themselves to the final, which was an achievement in itself. Murphy could be dangerous. Shots on here. Shot blocked here. Johan Kabay. Andros Townsend. Got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Christian Restarting at 2 0. And it's gone out of play there. It's Yedley. Well, they're attacking here. Might be a chance for Newcastle. It is an advantage for Crystal Palace, and they're going to try and take advantage of the referee's decision. Johan Kabay gets his foot in there. John Joe Shelby. Here's a chance for a breakaway. Well, they made a chance in a very classy way, a counter-attack here. It just needed the last bit to be right, and that's the hardest bit, of course. Yeah, he didn't quite catch it, but if they keep on making chances like that on the counter, they're going to score a few goals, I think. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. Looking to play his teammate through. And now the shot! Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right time. Just couldn't uh, provide the finishing touch. Well, that's half-time. We've got a substitution coming up, Alan, now, and it's, it's the midfield player who's going off. And in that part of the pitch, they've been second best. They have been. His teammates haven't helped, but he looked low on confidence, really. Um, couldn't get into the game, and it's a, it's a sensible decision by the manager. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Jack Colback. It's Yedlin. Moving forward again, and Newcastle United. Tackle here. Not a good challenge by the defender. And the slight tackle very successfully done. Very good tackle. It's looking good, this move. Looking for an opening. This Remy! Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Promising build-up until that challenge. Enteke. Well, the referee's got to give that. Will he produce another card for this player? Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Remy. Intercepted well. Keeps it going. It could be a chance. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Just 
Doing well to keep the ball. And Newcastle on the attack. Look how quick he reacted. Nicely lined up for the set-piece specialist here with this free kick. Save. Not the best set piece, but it was on target. Foul against Newcastle. He's coming forward with some danger. Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. Back. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Well, this is how this team can play sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Strong tackling, determination. He might be through. Good strong tackle. What we get to see, of course, the assistants don't. Whether that'll change down the years, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, the replay here shows he's got it right. He has. I mean, there was no real goal-scoring chance, but uh, the defence would be pleased that uh, their organisation caught him off. Return pass. There's some potential in this move. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Well, this is a chance from the free kick. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just a fraction off. He's hit the frame of the goal. Well, more news on the injury front from Jeff Shreves. From down here, it looks as though he landed actually on top of his elbow. That's why he's in so much discomfort, and that's why, of course, the bench are so concerned. Jeff, thanks for that. Free kick awarded here against Newcastle. Referee has shown the player a yellow card. Yeah, and that player's just got to be careful now. Well, he's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play very well. And there's the interception. Into the attacking third. Newcastle, their man fouled. Well, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I don't think there's any choice there from the ref. I know he does practice from this sort of distance. And practice almost made perfect then. Well, you've got to catch the ball absolutely perfectly to beat a keeper from that range. Kieran Clark. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. Just a heavy touch. The opposition could take the ball away. It is an advantage for Crystal Palace, and they're going to try and take advantage of the referee's decision. This might be it. And he scores. Good finish, no doubt, Martin, but what about the play before that? What about the passing? Wonderful team effort. For the goalkeeper, another bad moment. Certainly not his first of the day. He's just got to try and pick himself up now, Martin. There's still a game going on out there. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3-0 they lead. Well, you have to play it the way you're facing sometimes, even if you're facing your goalkeeper. Oh, it's into the net, and it's an own goal. Well, it comes with the territory, doesn't it, when you're in that kind of position? Let's have another peek at that goal. That could be a very costly own goal because they're trailing to it now. 
These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Mbemba. Jack Colback. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Clark. Matt Ritchie. One, two, and having a little game of their own here. Jack Colback. Kieran Clark. It's Yedlin. And the uh, fourth official has held up the board to say four more minutes. Now Clark. Matt Ritchie. It's a very good interception. Well, they're in a good position here. Real opening now. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. He's playing it back to the goalkeeper. There goes the final whistle. A